Hi everyone, welcome to Stamping with Ian. It's another Christmas project. <laughs> it's that time of year again. Anyway, uh, I've had some fun with this actually. Uh, I was inspired by Diane, Crafts by the Bow. Uh, I'll leave a link to her project down below in the uh, description. Uh, hers was monochrome uh, for a colour challenge. Obviously, I wanted colour, so I've changed it up a little bit, used some different products, and uh, well, actually, no, I haven't actually. I've used the same stamp set. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I digress. I've made four different versions. Uh, well, kind of two different versions, really. These were the first two. This is in uh, Garden Green and Poppy Parade. Let's make sure you can see those. You can. That's lovely. Uh... Soft suede, which is which is one of my new favourite colours. Uh, I've never really used it that much. I've kind of never really liked it, but now um, it seems to be everywhere. <laughs> uh, gold cord, uh, soft suede again for the ink. But as you can see, a lot of uh, a lot of black and white and greys. This paper's gorgeous, and by the way. It's the peace peaceful places or something. Uh, anyway. I decided I needed more colour. So, this was the revamp version. Shaded spruce and real red. Uh, still the same soft suede and uh, a different gold cord on these. I seem to have two different sorts. And this is the real red one with the shaded spruce as an accent. Same uh, Peaceful Places paper. Uh, these are from my stash. I don't have any Stampin' Up! Red ones for some reason. I don't know why. And I use silver cord. So, the ones we're going to be making today are the first version. Uh, because I cut... I cut all the cardstock out. <laughs> so you see me make two. Uh, assembly line. Kind of is, is a lot of uh, a lot of matting. There's a lot of card actually. You, you actually need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of cardstock per card. <laughs> that must be nuts. Anyway, it's a lovely project. Let's get on with it. Uh, I have managed to put. Uh, the stamps away that I'll be needing, which is very silly of me, because uh, it means I've got to redo them on the stamp routers now. And here's the day I'm using. So, let me get these uh, lined up again. Sorry for the slight disorganisation. First of all, I want the that, that goes on a block. First of all, I want the deer, which kind of goes there. And then this, I'll give you the measurements in a minute. It's exactly there. Let's attach that. It's very sticky. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I just put that back there. Uh, we'll do the stamping first, obviously. Get it out of the way. Uh, let's go through the measurements. Uh, right. I hope you can see this, but but I read this out anyway. 
uh, the base uh, five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter. Score at uh, four and one eighth, and we're making a tent card. It'll be in landscape. First mat is the black, three and a half by five and a quarter. The second mat is the white, three and a quarter by five. One of these is going to be stamped with the sentiment. Uh, the mat is the DSP mat is three by four and three quarters. And the stamp piece is two by two, and the mat piece of that is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So, if you just want to pause that or take a screenshot, I'll just leave it there for a second. Okay. I put the ink away as well. <laughs> uh, what a twit. So. Make sure that's level. Inkle Power Deer. Beautiful. It's moved. Was that moved? Okay, I'm not quite sure what I did there. Let me put that there. That'll do. You don't really need the magnet if you're just doing, you know. Not quite. <laughs> and that moved now, you see, so I've got to put... I've got to do his leg again. Why didn't that stink? There we go. That was a good guess as well, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's that piece done. We need one of the white pieces. Which I'm going to put... Actually, no. No, that can go there, actually, now, because I'm going to put it in the middle. This is our sentiment. Okay. Flip this round, which I don't think you can do on any other uh, platform. That wants to go there. That looks that looks level, but we'll check it against the things. That's lovely. Ink it up. Press the ink down. Beautiful. Love, love, love. So we finished with the stampratus. That can go away. <coughs> oh, close your ink pad up because you will get your car stuck in it, your elbows and whatever else. And let's do a bit of assembly. I think it, this video is going to be quite long actually, by the looks of it. So I might only make one up on camera because there's still some. Uh, Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll check. I'll check the time when I've uh... yeah. Right then, let's get everything done. Get your liquid glue. Liquid glue is my ch choice of glue. Love it to bits. side piece Okay. Let's put 
put this inside before we forget. this front piece that's something banging outside by the way the bonging <laughs> wind is definitely getting up here today. I'm, I'm filming this on uh, Tuesdays, on Tuesday I should say, of this week. So I think we've got a storm on the way. Now what we do next, we need to measure some uh, thread. This is the red one, so I'm going to use gold. This is the Simply Elegance trim. Okay. So I think, I think red and gold is it's quite nice, isn't it? So just measure. It's very curly. <laughs> oh dear me. some uh, double-sided tape normally I have the stamping up uh, tearing tape but I've run out and uh, I keep forgetting to add it to my orders maybe if I wrote it down instead <laughs> just looking for me pokey tool Something else I uh, put away. <laughs> Little toolbox. There it is. Cut that off. in the middle of the card which is there and run it along no it's not there it's a bit further down there we go and press it into the tape Lovely. Now we're going to glue this to the front now. Put some glue on the cord as well. That will keep it in place. Even though it's not really going anywhere with the double sided tape anyway. But uh, just to be safe. In the middle. Okay, get some uh, dimensionals, just a couple, yeah, it's only a bit of card, you're not holding up the fourth bridge or anything, <laughs> that goes there, kind of a roughly the same kind of distance away, yeah. Some uh, 
arrangements. Three. It's always nice to have an odd number, don't you find? Okay, now we need a sentiment. Fortunately, I have a spare one here. This was created using, uh, it's a half inch wide. And it's the uh, make a pick, a pick a banner punch, I think it's called. But you, know, you get two different sorts, okay. And uh, then I just chopped it an angle off just there. I'll need my small dimensionals for this. Well, that's the big. That's the big ones. Look, look, there they are. They drop down. So just a couple again. There's one. This is the best poker tool I've ever had. I'm never going to part with this. <laughs> we do have a new take your pick tool, which is nice. But the the pointer bit doesn't seem as thin and as useful as this one. Uh, I mean, that might just be me, you know. But, uh, put that level. Christmas, and the final thing is, you're gonna love this, because you know I hate doing them on camera. <laughs> I've got to make a bow. <laughs> so, I'm not being skimpy with the thread because, you know, I've got big fingers. And it's, uh, yeah, this could take a while actually. So, round. Under. Come on, go under. Run over. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I hope you can, because I don't do this on camera very often, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Is that enough? Oh, I've done it. Oh, look at that. I've actually done it. I don't believe it. Doing a reef knot. That's left over right and under, and right over left and under. Something I learned in the Cub Scouts many, many moons ago. <laughs> now you're going to need a glue dot. Get your bow and put it on the glue dot, press it down. And place it on top of the thread where about she want it uh, think what Diane did she, she bought it round and then and then tied it but uh, I'm, I'm not that good at that so that's the one we've just made okay what does what does the clock say 19 minutes yeah I think we'll call it a day there so I'll make this other one off camera but there you go. Uh, there's the other. There's, that's what the other one will look like. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Whatever you're doing today, wishing you a lovely time, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.